Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. Some of you may recognize this house and this job, the, um, the concrete slabs with the space in between them. The homeowner already added the uh, rock in between. And then he wants to put rock. We're back at this job because what we're going to do now is add a mow strip, a concrete mow strip around the outside edge of the walkway and the stepping stones. And then there's going to be more rock in between that. It's going to border the whole walkway, in other words. So you can see the driveway here. It's starting to dry out. It's still pretty green because we've been getting a lot of rain out here. So it's curing out really slow, which is great for concrete because that means inevitably it's going to be much stronger the slower it cures out by all this rain we've been getting. So that's great. So it'll be super hard concrete. Now here's the mow strip what we're going to do. We're going to do a 4 inch wide concrete poured in place mow strip. And what we did, we kind of railroad tied it just like when we formed the stepping stones in the other video. And then we just slapped both chunks of 2x4, dropped them on the ground and they were already connected together. And then we just kind of staked it in place. Now on this little radius here, it's a 4 foot radius. I just measured back from the corner four foot in each direction. And then I cut the two by four. So, And I'm going to do the same thing in this corner over here. So we have two consistent matching radiuses on either end. Now that little 2 by 4 you see there sitting across the top, that's just to kind of get a level to you just visually look at it and see if it looks level and then throw a screw through the stake into the form. That's recycled plastic bender board. We have some 4 inch spacers as well. So you don't have to keep breaking your measuring tape out. You just throw a lot of little spacers in there. And then what we're going to do, we'll oil these forms up before we pour. And uh, they'll come out a lot easier. And it's, it preserves the wood so we can reuse them more times. One little change we're going to do. This was the first day we started on this mow strip, digging it out, forming it up. When we came back to pour it, we mixed all the concrete by hand in a concrete mixer. We made another adjustment on this form that you'll see coming up. Now we didn't have to put a lot of stakes on this one side because we put the form right up against the lawn. The lawn was cut very well, so it became a natural brace. So here's uh, me spraying the oil on and that's the uh, used oil out of my truck and it's a uh, mobile one synthetic. It works really great for this and you know mobile one's expensive oil to begin with so I like to get you know a lot of use out of it. So here we are with the bags of concrete and what we're going to use is Blue Hawk. And what I found versus a lot of other manufacturers of pre-mixed concrete that Blue Hawk is uh, by far the best to actually get a nice finish on. It has the creamiest so it means the fines in it is much better to um, get a smooth trowel on and uh, I think probably has more cement in it as well. They, they make 4 inch hand edgers you can buy and they make 2 inch, 1 inch, you can buy all different widths to fit in these narrow areas but I just had some 6 inch wide hand edgers so I just took my right angle grinder with a metal cutting carborandum blade and I just cut this one down to fit. That's why the handle's not centered. It's um, offset because I cut off everything on one side of it. 
Oh, here's the uh, form I told you that I, I had to change. See, we went, we just cut into that radius and went straight across right there. So I put, see that little stake I just wedged in the lawn? It looked like it was kind of bowed out, so I just grab anything. It could be a rock, a, a stake, a piece of chunk of wood. You just wedge it in there and make it straight. You got to do that before it gets too dry. Now, since we only had top ties on those 2x4s holding it in place and we didn't have any um, stakes driven into the ground. We had to leave those top ties on for quite a, quite some time before we could remove them to finish underneath them. I have my chisel right there next to me, and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to bang some joints across about every four feet. I've got my four foot level right there, and that happens to be a Johnson. The same as my laser. I'm just using that as basically a template to cut some joints in here with that chisel. It's real hard to get a hand joiner in and get a nice finish on a narrow air like this. So I just use a chisel and then I use my margin trowel to touch it up. Now because there's not going to be any foot traffic on this mow strip, I'm not real concerned about it being slip resistant. So we're just going to leave a smooth smooth finish on this. So when he's edging it and he's getting grass clippings on there, stuff like that, he'll be able to brush it off really easily. This is a Bermuda lawn and it's kind of halfway dormant kind of coming back here and there where it may not be Bermuda anymore but once the spring comes around that stuff will be lush green but here's the finished product all that rock in the middle of the yard will go in the border around the front patio and walkway once these forms come out but there it is a real nice little border for your lawn one that you don't have to replace for a long, long time. That weed fabric will lay back in place and get staked back down, pull the bark back over. Now these forms should come out really easy with that uh, oil I put on there. And they should be relatively clean so I don't have to do a lot of work on them for the next job. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you like these videos, uh, subscribe. That way you won't miss the latest and greatest as I roll them out. Also, if you know anyone that might be needing some concrete work, you can share some videos with them. Also, hit the like button. We'll get more notoriety and people will find us easier on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.